Hi, this is Paul from Production Room with Phil from Eve Audio. Hello. We're here today looking uh, at the TS112 Eve Sub. So without further ado, Phil. Yeah, okay. So um, in a previous session we looked at the, uh, the four two-way systems. Uh, Eve do um, two three-way models and uh, two four-way model systems, but uh, any of them systems can actually be incorporated with the subwoofers. There's four different sizes. Um, so the TS107, 108, 110 and 1112, we're looking at the TS1112 here. The TS stands for thunderstorm, uh, with good reason, and uh, like with the, um, the rest of the EVE Audio um, main monitors, um, the sub incorporates uh, DSP control um, over the signal. Now what that means is that uh, when it's coupled with the uh, EVE satellites, um, you can actually go into the, the DSP one touch encoder and you can set the, uh, the, the sub filter and the satellite filter and there's various satellite cutoffs um, available from 60 hertz, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120 and 140. Um, you can also send in uh, a, a dedicated LFE channel into the sub at 300 hertz so it's uh, um, for surround sound application. Um, but talking about the, the way that the digital system incorporates with the satellite is very um, important because um, quite often people worry about um, having overlap on their base frequencies mm. at the cutoff point. And uh, you know, sometimes you can get uh, room modes that uh, really impose on the subwoofer and makes it sort of quite an unnatural sound to, uh, to, to reference against. Now, the EVEs employ this digital system to make it very absolute. So the bandwidth of the subwoofer um, reaches a frequency and then the, uh, the cutoff then sends the, the rest of the signal up to the satellite. So you've got very absolute bandwidths available, which makes it a very tight system. Um, some other nice um, uh, elements to the sub is that it comes with this very handy remote control. And uh, again, when you're setting up a subwoofer in a room, quite often, you know, to have control just on the subwoofer for setting the system up is quite a pain. So having a remote control, one, you can actually uh, increase the sub volume, decrease the sub volume. You can do the overall system volume. You can do the, uh, the sub filter, so you can check which filter works well within right. the room. And also um, it has a phase. So again, if you're walking around the room, you put it in a position, you can listen to where those nodes and anti-nodes are, are occurring within the room and position the sub and walk around and just get make sure you've got a, a, a balanced um, right. uh, sound field. Right. So the, obviously this is the 112. Yeah. The 112, um, we've got the single speaker on the front. Yep. And then we've also got the... Yes, we've got the passive radiator underneath. So uh, this is where it's your strength. <laughs> so if you can look under the bottom there, you'll see a diaphragm. It's not coupled electronically. Um, it's a passive radiator. But as the main driver um, exerts, um, the passive radiator will uh, oppose that action. Um, so you get a very uh, dipole coupled system of the air. Um, now the, the beauty of this over the, um, you know, the ported design is that one, you get um, a very tight bandwidth for yeah. control, and secondly, you um, eliminate a lot of port noise and turbulence that builds up. Yeah. The higher the pressure, sound pressure level, the more that port design would uh, in increase um, turbulence and right. resonance. And so um, having this passive system um, creates a very, um, you know, quite a steep uh, drop off, but uh, it's, a, it's a very coupled system. Um, so as far as wiring is concerned, yeah. maybe, oh, the second, maybe the second heaviest thing on the planet. <laughs> so we have. There we go. Cool. So yeah, I mean, if you're looking at it from the top, which most people will be when they're uh, wiring yeah. it up, you can look down and you'll see that the, uh, you know, the, uh, the ledger's um, both ways to allow yeah. for that. Um, but essentially, you've got from your door output or from your main console uh, monitor outputs, so you feed the left and right into the sub, and then you take a, um, a right and a left feed out of the sub into the satellites. And like right. I say, that, that, that filter system will kick in. Um, the other thing to really just to, 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 to note on this system is um, the ability to use a pure satellite button. Again, um, some systems are, um, you know, are decoupled from each other and this is, works integral. So if you want to go full range on the satellites, 
and then just bring in the, uh, the, the subwoofer yeah. when you want to reference what the sub sounds like. Um, you can bring that in using the, the just the one touch control on the remote and it will change the filter response to go full range on the sub, uh, sorry, full range on the satellites or incorporate the sub and then it will refilter yeah. to allow for that. So um, with regards to the ideal systems, if you're looking at um, say the SC204s or SC205s, what would be the ideal sub for those two units? Yeah, and, and quite often um, this is a quite a good uh, case in point. Um, Sound and Sound, Paul White did a, a, a review on the 204s, uh, yeah. the smallest of the EVEs, uh, along with the TS107. Uh, and he noted that uh, in small project rooms um, where space is limited, you also get the worst kind of base problem. Yes. And sometimes putting main monitors either side of your console or your digital workstation, um, right, left and right of your ears, um, Sometimes the actual room can impose so much on the uh, on the on the where the the, the speakers are positioned. Yeah. So having a smaller um, satellite um, left and right pair um, dealing with the mids and the highs, and then having a dedicated um, sub doesn't have to go all the way down because yeah. the room wouldn't yeah. really naturally want to go. That be, it would just it would mm. be too much overload. But on the s smaller subs, it can actually work in a better fashion yeah. by having the two. The two way, uh, the two point one system, rather yeah. than the. Uh, and there's uh, four uh, subs. We said we've got the, the one hundred seven, yeah. the one hundred eight, the one one zero, and the big base, the one one two. Yeah, and, and, and it just really denotes the, uh, the, the the woofer size on the on the front. And just finally, all four have the passive radiator. All four in, employ the passive radiator design. Excellent. So uh, again, real um, you know, unique in that sense. Um, using the digital system. Great. To, to That's wonderful. Right. Again, guys, web production room. This is Phil from Evo Audio. Um, again, don't believe us. Please get down to the store or a store near you and try Evo Audio out. Mm. They're outstanding. Thank you.